Welcome back to another Starfield video on the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you where and how to find each of Earth's landmarks. So without any further ado, let's dive right on in. So to give you a quick understanding as to why I decided to make this video, Earth's landmark locations in Starfield should technically be fairly easy to find. I mean trying to find the likes of the Empire State Building in New York, the pyramids in Egypt or even the Shard in London, England should be as quick as opening up planet Earth on your star map, picking its location it's in and landing there and finding it straight away. Way. Well, that's where you might quickly discover that it's a lot harder than you think. You see, at first glance you might notice that Earth itself is a little bit barren, to the point where it's mostly covered in desert and hardly no water at all. So trying to visually find particular countries like the United States, Australia, England and even my home country, Ireland, might be a little bit difficult to navigate. But even when you visually recognise the outline of each country and know exactly where you should land to try and discover these locations, you might find yourself wandering for quite a while. To be honest, before I discovered what I'm about to explain, I spent a considerable amount of time landing at destinations I knew specific landmarks were at, but I found myself running around for a long time trying to actually find them, and then eventually got to the point where I actually just gave up. But don't fret, if you find yourself in the same boat but desperately want to find every location, well I've got you covered. In order to find each of these landmarks, you'll need to find special prompts that will add new landing sites to your map on planet Earth, most of which are tied to books and literature found in some of the game's major settlements like New Atlantis. Atlantis, Aquila and other locations. Now I'll also try to include timestamps in the description below so you can actually jump to the landmarks you're trying to find, just to make it a little bit easier to navigate throughout the video. So let's check out some of these landmarks. The first location we'll take a look at will be the Empire State Building in New York. In order to find this you'll first need to get your hands on a book called Our Lost Heritage. To find this you'll need to make your way to the offices of President Abello, which can be found on one of the upper floors of the Mast Building in New Atlantis. Once you have the book, just simply interact with it and a new side quest will pop up directing you to head back to the landing site back on Earth. Simply head there and once you arrive you'll have this landmark permanently added to your map for you to come and go as you please. On a side note and if you like collecting items in games, you'll also find the New York snow globe on a rock to the right of the Empire State Building. The next location is the US Bank Tower in LA. In order to find this you'll need to locate the book The Hope Family Tree, which can be found on Ron Hope's desk in Hopetown on the planet Polvo. Not to spoil any in-game story missions, however you'll have a limited opportunity to get your hands on this particular book, as Ron Hope's office is only accessible during the Where Hope is Built faction quest, which is tied to the Rangers questline back in Aquila. During this quest you'll be prompted to visit Ron Hope, however if you're like me and completely forgot or didn't realise that the book was there, your next opportunity to pick up the book will be once you've completed the Accidents Happen quest for Voyagin. However if you cannot manage to complete that particular mission or feel that you want to save some time, you can actually access Ron Hope's office via the factory floor. If you make your way to the main floor and take the green catwalk adjacent to Ron Hope's office, you can make your way to the top and then you can use the door located at the back of his office. Through here you'll be able to access his office and claim the book for yourself, after which you'll be free to grab the book and visit the particular landmark. Once you head there, the location will be permanently added to your map for you to explore. And again, if you're determined to collect all of the snow globes on Earth, you can find the US Bank Tower globe from the rubble surrounding its base. The next location is the Gateway Arch in St. Louis. In order to find this you'll need to locate the book The Price of Destiny, which can be found in Benjamin Bayo's penthouse in Neon. In order to access the penthouse you'll firstly need to find Bayo in booth 4 of the Astral Lounge VIP area and pickpocket the key from him. Once you've acquired the key and made your way to the penthouse and located the book and interacted with it, you'll then get the Gateway Arch as a landing destination on your star map. Once you head there, again the location will be permanently added to your map, and if you're looking for the respective snow globe, you'll be able to find it directly beneath the arch. The next location is the Shard in London. In order to find this, you'll first need to find a copy of the Oliver Twist book, which can be purchased from Sinclair's books in Aquila City. Once you get your hand on the book and interact with it, you'll then get the landing site for the Shard as a destination on your star map. Likewise, if you head there, the location will become a permanent location to visit, and if you're looking for the snow globe, you'll find the London snow globe sitting on a rock near the base of the Shard Tower. The next location is the Pyramids in Cairo, Egypt. In order to find this location you'll firstly need to find the book The Ancient Civilization of Egypt, which can be bought from Sinclair's books in Aquila City. This will then add the location as a landing site to your map, which you can then head to and explore. When you land here you'll find the remains of two pyramids, however if you are looking to hunt down the respective snow globe, you'll be able to locate it on a slab of rock near the base of the furthest pyramid from where you landed. 
The next location is the International Commerce Centre in Hong Kong. In order to find this location, you need to get your hands on a copy of Morris Lyons' journal, which can be found on a metal shelf in the museum at the new Homestead Settlement on Titan. Once you interact with the journal, the landing site destination will appear on your map, and from here you can head directly there and explore the landmark. To find the respective snow globe, you'll be able to find it located at the base of the tower. The next location is the Shanghai Tower in China. In order to discover this location, you'll first need to find the book The Essentials of Modern Macroeconomics. In order to find this book, you'll need to make your way to Paruma 2 in the Paruma star system and boarding the unidentified ship that is there. Once aboard, you'll need to make your way to one of the classrooms on the upper floor of the ship and sitting in front of a whiteboard, you'll find the book sitting there. Upon reading the book, the Shanghai Tower landing site landmark will then eventually be unlocked. Once you arrive at the Shanghai Tower, you'll also find the snow globe located at the destination marker. The next location is the Abeno Haruka Tower in Osaka. In order to find this location, it will involve you taking a bit of time to discover and locate the diary of Kayasuko Nagata. This diary can only be secured once you've successfully joined the Crimson Fleet. However, joining the Crimson Fleet isn't as simple as just walking up to their front door and actually asking to join. In order to join them, you'll first need to get yourself arrested in UC territory, and a simple way of doing this is by pickpocketing someone in the line of sight of UC guards. Once they catch you, they'll bring you on board the ship Vigilance, a United Colony ship which is just in orbit just outside of Mars. Once you're on board, you'll be interrogated by Commander Akande. However, once interrogated, Commander Akande will persuade you to go undercover for the United Colonies and secure a way of joining the Crimson Fleet, which will start the quest Deep Cover. The quest Deep Cover will involve roughly three to four stages before even reaching the Crimson Fleet HQ and successfully joining them. So, do not spoil any in-game storyline missions, but once you've successfully managed to board the Crimson Fleet HQ known as the Key, you'll eventually make your way to the command center where you'll speak with their leader Delgado. Upon speaking with Delgado, you'll be tasked with several other missions, however before continuing this questline, you can make your way upstairs to his private quarters, where on a nightstand to the left of his bed, you'll find a copy of the diary of Kayasuka Nagata. Upon reading the diary, you'll instantly unlock the landing site for the Osaka landmark. Once you arrive at the tower, you'll find the respective snow globe located at the marker at the base of the tower on a pile of rocks. The next location is the Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai. This location might take a while to discover, as similar to our last location in Osaka, you'll need to progress the storyline far enough in the Crimson Fleet storyline, and have completed the deep cover, Rook meets King, and Echoes of the Past quests. Once you've completed these quests, you'll need to locate the book called Race to the Heavens, which can only be found in Larry Dombrowski's suite in the Siren of the Stars Luxury Liner, which you will need to visit as part of the Breaking the Bank faction quest, which is generated for you after you've completed the three other quests that I just mentioned. After finding the book, you'll unlock the Dubai Landmark landing site. Heading directly there, you'll also find the Dubai Snow Globe located at the marker at the base of the tower. Now, the final location is one that I've specifically left out of this video, and that's the NASA Launch Tower landmark. This location can only be discovered during the main storyline mission Unearthed, which is an integral part of the storyline, so for this location you will need to complete roughly 12 to 13 missions worth of main storyline, and to save any major plot spoilers, I'm leaving this particular landmark out for now. However, I will mention that upon discovering this location, you can find both the NASA snow globe on one of the desks on the upper level of the facility, and also an important side location marker inside of the exhibit hall, which will generate a landing site marker for the Opportunity Rover on Mars, which I will be covering in a future video. And there you have it, where and how to find each of Earth's landmarks in Starfield. Hopefully this video has helped you find some of those locations you've been trying to cross off your list, and help acquire some of those snow globes you've been trying to hunt down. I'll have another video on the way discussing the locations of the Apollo Lander and the Opportunity Rover later in the week, so definitely stay tuned for that video. And if you found today's video enjoyable, consider clicking that subscribe button for more Starfield content like this, and so you never miss out on any videos that I publish. I want to say a massive thank you to all of our channel members and subscribers here on the channel, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. For our Bethesda and Starfield fans, if you find yourself shopping on the Bethesda store and would like to support the channel, you can use my creator code BTStarfieldV93 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, consider checking out my merch store, which has an array of t-shirts, mugs, and other pineapple-related merch, which I'll leave in a link in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumble upon this video, thank you for being here, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time folks, thank you so much for checking out today's video, stay safe out there in the galaxy, welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch all of you in the next video.